Hello everyone, Will again here and this is the final video before tupping and that is because we are getting the ewes all ready for the tups going in. So the plan for today, we're going to split the ewes into tupping groups and hopefully get a few dagged. We might not today because it's an evening, but we'll see how we get on. So if you do enjoy it today guys, please give the video a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, just smash that subscribe button and don't forget videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning. I'm just waiting for the rest of the team to show up and then we'll get the use in. Right guys, as you can probably see, if by magic, the ewes are all in, all my helpers have disappeared, and that is because I forgot to record it. But yeah guys, that is all the ewes in, and the plan is now, these are going to be split up into four groups. So we're using four tups on the ewes this year, and one tup on the ewe lambs. So the four tups we're using on these, we are using Goliath, um, Indiana Jones, the Irish tup, and Ignite My Fire. So there are the four tups, and then we're using hashtag on the ewe lambs that is the plan for this year as you probably saw if you watched the fertility test video goliath isn't going to go to as many ewes so he's going to have 30 ewes all the rest are going to have 40 so that is the plan fairly even group so what i do here um, as you can see i've got a black stop marker here we mark all the ewes with the core group they are in so as you can see i've just started to do them before i recorded this so they're going to goliath um, they basically have the same color on the back as the rattles the top Basically, keep it simple. If one gets out, we know it's got out. We can see it's been tucked by another tup, but they shouldn't because they're in completely different places. We only run one tup with each group so we don't have any cross pedigrees or any mistakes like that. Um, when I'm picking the ewes, I have my mighty clipboard. So this shows all the homebred ewes and all their breeding. So all this basically says what tups they're by and any they're related to so that we're not going back to the fathers or grandfathers or size and grand size or same with the mums so that is a plant with these we'll crack on and get a group done because there's two staying here some are going in the fields over there there's a big fence that separates the two there's another group going here then two are going onto separate piece of land if that all makes sense and i'm not talking rubbish hopefully you understand but that is what i'm doing um i want to crack on this because it's like five o'clock in the evening it's an evening job after work so that is a plan for now and we'll get them all done so look who's joined us, we've got the professional on the clipboard. So basically what I'm doing now is we are scanning all the using. So we just have the EID scanner scan each of the ear tags so we know a record of each one what tup we've gone. So basically if there is a homebred tup, what I'm doing, so for that one it was like 545. Five. Oh Josie, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so it's basically like 545, five, a shite to so, and she'll tell me what tup it's by. So if there's a confusion, I know exactly what it's by. So just scan all these in now because all of these are going to go to Goliath. That one needs a tag. That is 29. Which plus one, that is his group size. So all of those girls are who Goliath is going to go to. And Josie is trying to be a menace. Aren't you, Josie? Oi! You. They do not like her. Right, so what we're going to do now, there's 30 of these, we're going to walk over to the field over there, then we come back and do the next tuffing group. So that is the plan. Yeah, yeah.
that is another group down so that is 40 for the irish tup so that's for not more ignatio we bought him from ireland last year for any who didn't know so it's 40 for him what we're doing with the breathing this year just because usually we'd stick certain breeders with certain tups but this year we're going to have a bit of a mix around that's why i'm just going random because i want unless they're related we're going to try a mixture of different indexes different performance to see if the tops really do affect that kind of stuff so hopefully that shows us a bit more than putting like the best juice to what we think is the best top so hopefully that works this year so now all the ewes are getting down the lines of homebred so they should all start being that kind of stuff but yeah that's the 40 for him done so it's a loving life because josie misbehaved didn't she yeah don't ask she's in the tractor on her own she's got water um but yeah She's in trouble. Right, we'll get on with the third group. So the third group we're doing is Ignite My Fire, which is a homebred top. He's getting 42. Crack on with that because else it'll be dark. What's that? It's Barbie! Oh no. <laughs> oh, it is as well. Right. For those of you who aren't aware, that's the pet sheep of Soph, so that's Barbie. So she's actually going to the roof, Sam. She's gonna have black babies. So yeah, that's her. As you can probably tell she's a little bit smaller than most of you. She's actually a quad that we hand reared, so. That is Soph's pet lamb, so she's happy to see her. Um, yeah, we'll crack on with these because the light is going. Barbie's at the back. Yeah. Because then. Um, four, nine, seven, Soph. Crits. Boom. To simplify what we're doing, basically, we are now doing Ignite My Fire. Gwyn is his dad, so we don't want ewes out of Gwyn, else you're going to have some interbreeding, which we don't want, whatever it's called, inbreeding, not interbreeding, inbred. inbred stuff, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> right, so this one is 184. Gwyn. So yeah, that one is out of Gwyn, so that's a really good example, that worked really well. That's Gwyn, so obviously he can't go to his um, grandson, so she can't go to, yeah, they'd be related basically. So yeah, that's that. That's that. 420, so. Which that one? Gwyn. So yeah, that's the same again. Then once I've done that, I scan all the red ones in. So that's just so easy like that. Red, red. Oh, beautiful work. Beautiful, it's like you've been doing it all day. <laughs> Well, that worked perfectly because we have 40 in the blue group, so they're for Indiana Jones. We're all done now. There are 40 for Ignite My Fire. There are 40 for the Irish Tup, and there are 30 for Goliath. So there are ex exactly 150 going to the Tup this year, like I thought. So nothing bad there, nothing's disappeared. So that's a good thing. We've got a few ewe lambs in here because I chucked the show sheep in here just when we were letting them out. So they've got to go back. What we're going to do now is basically trailer these two um, groups to the fields they're going in and that is us done for today guys so we'll quickly do that the light is starting to fade we're hungry so we want to get it done Don't still. i'm still going to do the ponies oh we're still going to do the horses yeah <laughs> that won't be on camera but yeah we'll get them um, get a group gone and then get out of here Right guys, so that is all of the ewes sorted. As you probably noticed, it is the day after because I actually recorded this last night, but it was too dark so you couldn't see me. But yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video today guys. The tops will soon be in with the ewes and they'll split into the four groups 
and they're nice and settled to the top so going in later today with a video soon to come actually it'll be the next video so i really hope you enjoy it guys if you did please give the video a massive like if you want to see more stuff like this just smash that subscribe button and don't forget videos every wednesday and saturday at half seven in the morning cheers guys see you all soon